Hello, everyone. Not to say the news right now isn't rife with interesting content, but a lot of it is rehashing old topics. Besides, there was news I had seen that I thought would be genuinely fun and interesting to cover, and it requires all of us to travel back in a time to a younger time. Maybe if you are my age, you remember watching this show, and if you are of the <clears throat> elder variety, perhaps children or young relatives of yours have watched this show. I am talking about none other than Arthur. Now you may have heard, but a character from Arthur has recently come out of the closet. Arthur's teacher, Mr. Ratburn, yes he is a rat, has come out as gay, and quite definitively so. In fact, there was an episode slotted to air last week that depicted the wedding of Mr. Ratburn and his husband. But whoa, not so fast. Something about showing LGBT ideas to a group of children might anger some people. Unlike the UK, where LGBT politics in schools has angered Muslim residents, here in America, a corporation took it upon themselves to censor the episode before it got to the sensitive minds of the children. Contrary to what some of you may believe, I was in fact speaking facetiously, just in case it was unclear. Well, apparently, Alabama Public Broadcasting has refused to show this episode. CNN has the coverage, and so we're going to go through that, okay? Alabama Public Television says it won't air an episode of the children's show Arthur that featured a same-sex marriage. Mr. Ratburn and the special someone aired as the premiere for the show's 22nd season on May 13th, but not in Alabama. Programming director Mike McKenzie says Alabama Public Television has no plans to broadcast the episode. Now, okay, the headline in the first couple sentences seemed to sum up the story quite well, yeah? But you may end up agreeing with this person even if you are pro-LGBTQ. The storyline about Mr. Ratburn's marriage conveys a positive image, he said, but while many parents will find it appropriate, many others will disagree, either because their children are too young or because of their beliefs. Our broadcast would take away the choice of the parents who feel it is inappropriate, McKenzie told CNN in a statement. Now okay, when I first chose this story, I thought to myself, finally, an opportunity to rag on conservatives so my audience doesn't think I'm hella partisan in favor of the right, but fuck, I was wrong. Because look, I have to agree with this guy. Most children are not directly under parental supervision during the day. Usually a babysitter just puts on a show and keeps an eye on them when the kid gets home from school or daycare or whatever. Point is, the introduction of complex sexuality discussions with or directed at children is not appropriate in my opinion. Like sure, they can watch it if the parent is cool with it, but why does it need to be on public broadcast television? And is it morally sound for the director of Alabama Public Broadcasting to make that decision, knowing full well parents may not approve, especially in a state like Alabama? CNN has reached out to WGBH, which produces the series, and is waiting to hear back. PBS told CNN that its local channels decide what to put on the air in their markets. PBS Kids programs are designed to reflect the diversity of communities across the nation. PBS Kids' Maria Vera Whelan told CNN, we believe it is important to represent the wide array of adults in the lives of children who look to PBS Kids every day. The show's creator told CNN he felt like the episode was a responsibility they had with Arthur. Mark Brown cited his friend Fred Rogers, better known as Mr. Rogers, who taught him how a television could be used to help children in families. Quote, so many of us have family or friends who are gay who are not representative in the media, Brown says. We have people in our family that are gay and raising children and looking for things to validate their families. Now, while that is all well and good, it still doesn't address the point that directing these kinds of conversations, albeit important societal norms, altogether, at children is kind of sketchy. I don't even think it's right to show any kind of cartoons with love interests, even in a hetero way. I remember when I was a young kid, similar to the target age of... Arthur viewers, so, you know, about two to five years old, and watching cartoons like Blue's Clues, Tom and Jerry, Powerpuff Girls, Looney Tunes, and the sort. I watched Boomerang a lot, old cartoons, quality. But I don't recall too many love interests being shown to me back then. I really, I really can't remember. That wasn't a focal point. I remember the closest that Blue's Clues got was Magenta, but even I don't remember who she was. I mean, hell, it took me forever to realize Blue was a girl, but I'm on a tangent. Point is, relationship conversations don't need to be directed at extremely young children. But apparently, I am wrong. 
Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation called the station's decision censorship and mean-spirited. TV worlds often reflect our actual world, and today that includes LGBTQ parents and families. GLAAD President and CEO Sarah Kate Ellis told CNN in a statement, LGBTQ parents and their children deserve to see themselves reflected in media, and if leadership of this public broadcasting station cannot serve the interests of the entire public, it's time to find someone who can. Now that's a weird statement in my mind. LGBTQ parents and their children deserve to see themselves reflected in the media. Are you inferring that there are LGBTQ children? Well, of course you're inferring that. I have more evidence to support such claims where the community has advocated for transgender children to start taking hormones before they even hit puberty. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, they are intending for this to be directed at children. I feel it's terrible that gay and lesbian couples are lumped in with this new wave of transgender hype and transgender politics. I feel as if there are genuine adults who could benefit from transitioning, but encouraging children, or even to go so far as to say that they could go on hormone blockers, is ridiculous. There is a certain matter of states' rights, as explained by PBS earlier, where they say that individual states choose what to play. Look, bottom line is that if the people of Alabama think this is wrong, you'll hear about it from them. But if not, who are you to tell them what other people show their children? Especially when it has to do with the blatant sexualization of those children. But hey, those are my thoughts. If you agree or disagree, or just feel like saying hi, leave a comment down below. I appreciate y'all for coming out, and I will see y'all soon.